Let me tell you something. God don't want us dying premature deaths. He's called every one of us into his kingdom to do something for him. He don't want us to leave this world prematurely and not finish out the commission that he's given us. And you know what? When our commission is finished, that he's given us, praise God. We can just say, Lord, I'm finished. Or he can say, you're finished. It's okay. You can come home now. You can come home now. But you know, that that's the reason that he gave us his word. He gave us his power, his name, the power of the Holy Ghost. Praise God. Hallelujah. So that the enemy, so that the natural things will not defeat us. Yes, things happen to everybody. We, we live in these physical bodies that we relate to the earth and the world around us. What we see and what we hear, taste, feel. But you know what? It don't have to dictate our lives. Especially people that are born again, it doesn't have to dictate your life. Praise God. We don't have to live by the dictates of the flesh what the flesh wants because we've got a greater one that's in us in our spirit with our body we relate to the world around us with our soul which is our mind will and emotions we relate to ourself and then with our spirit we relate to God and the way he wants us to be we're a tripart being we're three parts spirit soul and body a lot of people are still living in the soulless realm. They think all they have is a soul and a body. They're, th you know, their soul, their thinker, their feeler, their chooser. Their emotions. But see, we all, uh, the Bible tells us that things we see are temporal. It says we walk by faith and not by sight. We don't walk by what we see or what we feel in this world around us because everything is temporal and subject to change. Everything in this world, everything in the natural can be changed by the Word of God, by the supernatural Word of God. It can change any circumstances. If you've got a disease and it's a life-threatening disease, the Word of God can change that. But you have to have it in you. You can't wait till you get on your deathbed and start trying to believe and believe and believe and believe, although some people do. They tap into it. But I, I tell you what, though, it's, it's hard when, the, when somebody's got you down with their foot on your neck and they're weighing three or 400 pounds and you might weigh 80 pounds. It's hard to move. It's hard to believe when the doctor says, there's no hope. There's nothing else we can do. Don't wait till that time. Pick the Word of God up now and start reading it. Start believing what Jesus said, what my husband preached. Take Jesus at His Word. Start believing what He said. Start acting on it, doing it. Be a doer, not a hearer only. Start believing what he said. Act on it. And then the time that the enemy comes against you, then the time when the doctor says there's nothing else we can do, you get a bad report saying, Oh, no. Oh, no, I know that Jesus bore the stripes on his back for my healing, and I don't have to bear this disease. I thank God that by his stripes I'm healed. And start walking in that and standing on that. And, and you watch that sickness and d disease disappear. It has to bow to the name of Jesus and the Word of God. It has to. It has no choice. But don't wait till it happens and then try to have the faith to overcome. Because I'll tell you what, if you don't have long, because it takes time. It takes time because faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing. Plural. Faith comes that way. 